Hey team and welcome back to the Radical Rundown. My name is Brian Buckash, Core Design Engineer for Brunswick Bowling. And since the Core Design Engineer is sitting here, you know that we're talking about core designs for Radical Bowling. And today we're talking about the newest design, the Katana Assault Core. You'll see here I have two cores in front of me. The original Katana Core that was in the Katana, the Katana Slash, and a couple of the other Katana balls after that. And here we have the newest core design that's an actual multi-density core design. And you'll see, although it has a number of similarities that you can immediately pick out and reference as a katana core, it does have subtle shape differences and this multi-density piece at the bottom that makes it different, unique, stronger, and overall better. So we're going to get into that right now. This new katana assault core has an undrilled RG of 2501, a total differential of 051, and an intermediate differential of 020 that's very similar to the original katana core, but the subtle differences are due to the shape overall. Now remember, core shape dictates motion, so even though the numbers of these two cores are fairly similar, you're gonna see some shape differences. Effectively, this core is a stronger version for a couple different reasons. First, we'll talk about the similarities and the reason that this still gives you that same katana ball motion that you're used to seeing. Of course, we have our moment arms on the sides on this intermediate axis. When I flip these two cores forward, you'll notice that on the new core, in my right hand here, the beefed up moment arms are going to give you a little more motion down the lane, despite the fact that they're going to help the ball retain axis rotation longer, and that way it'll unload a little more on the back of the lane. Since I have them in the, this orientation, you'll also notice that the nose on this new core is quite a bit larger. It sticks out more toward the shell of the ball, which means that you're going to hit it with the thumb more readily when you drill into it. The more that you drill into the core of the ball, the more that you're going to get more intermediate differential because effectively what you're doing is you're narrowing up this axis of the ball, making it longer on the intermediate axis, shorter on this front axis, and what that's going to do is give you more post-drilled intermediate differential. This core can go all the way up to an 057, 030 drilled differential. 030 is very substantial for intermediate differential, and that intermediate differential is going to help the ball get off the mid lane and back end as hard as it possibly can. The final new feature that you'll notice on this new assault core is that it's got a high density lower cap that's pressure fit onto the bottom of it. But you'll notice that it has a very high density. It's very heavy for the small size that it is. It's situated directly under the pin axis of the ball in the lower quadrant of the ball which means that when you drill into this core, you're not going to affect it, you're not going to drill into it, so the high mass is always there to help the ball back end at the back of the lane. Because this is so uh, massive relative to its size due to its high density, it means that this core body can be a lighter density and thus a higher volume. The higher volume of this core compared to the original Katana core means that we can press the moment arms further out and press the nose at the front of this core further toward the drilled thumb. All of this results in a core that is stronger and higher back ending than the original Katana core. And we wanted to do this because when the original Katana core was developed, it was developed with balance holes in mind. So this beefed up Katana core is going to give you that same strong back ending motion that a Katana original core with a strong balance hole would give you. That's all the information we have on this brand new Katana Assault core available at your local pro shops. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook pages, Radical Bowling, and don't forget to join our group, Radical Bowling Fans, on Facebook as well. Once again, I'm Brian Buckosh, and this has been the Radical Rundown.